Well, this backdrop uh, serves as a brilliant entrance for the athletes. The coaches and uh, officials are out on the field of play. Here come the athletes. Let's go down to the shooting line and meet the contenders for the European gold medal. So another gold medal up for grabs here. Turkia line up with the 17-year-old Burke Akkoyan. Another 17-year-old in Mostafa Ozdemir. And the 16-year-old Kutai Tek. France, well, Turkey are number one seed after the ranking round. France, number two seed. So the top two seeds again into the gold medal match. 15-year-old Baptiste Addis, Mr. Cool in France. 15 years old, lines up with two 17-year-olds, Yanis Baldan and Romain Viali. This should be an interesting one, but actually the experience, believe it or not, is more on the French side of the shooting line. Uh, it's only a fourth cap for Kutai Tech, the 16-year-old Turk. So France will be the favourites coming into this, and they will be shooting first. Well, what's interesting is... Um Baptiste was actually knocked oh. out by Ozdemir and Akuan beat Roman from France. So they were all together in the top four for the individuals and the two Turkish oh. boys beat the two French boys. So I think the French boys will be out for revenge in this match. And there you have it. Of course, he's going to the gold medal match tomorrow against his fellow teammate. Already an important arrow here. A client shooting third in the order. Nine. And it means they're all square with three arrows down. I think that would have put him off. Something just fell down outside there. It was one of the banners, and uh, it was while Addis was at full draw. So, no. yeah, seemed to have seemed to have uh, shocked him a little. French team looking on a bit worried. You can see the work party behind trying to trying to fix the banner. But that's why it's called a team round, because you have teammates to help you when things like that happen. Well, I, of course, not deliberate, but that's very unfortunate for the French team. Hey. All depends on these last two arrows, but of course, that French arrow is Mark 7 with a a star next to it, so it's a line cutter. Could potentially be an eight. Nine. Nine. 
Well, a, a remarkable uh, set there. The seven there marked for a, a measure could go up to an eight. Uh, at the moment, 54 provisionally per team, so one set point apiece. But that seven, as you called it, was as a result of a distraction at full draw. Very unfortunate. But Takia just didn't take advantage of that. Yeah, it's really interesting. The, uh, the, the girls from Takia, they, again, they didn't seem to settle into their matches either. So I wonder, I wonder what's different between the recurve archers and the compound archers. Well, Takia, strong in support. And this will get them going exactly what they need to raise their mojo. You can bet that the French are going to start to join in. But there's that seven. I think that's going to remain a seven. Oh, no, he's been pointed up. That shows you what parallax error does to you. That looks like it's way out. But in fact, it's been marked up to an eight. And, uh, well, we just wait for final confirmation on that. But it certainly looks like it was marked up for an eight. And... Well, against all the odds, France are going to be leading this one. Yeah, as I said, you know, they're in it for blood. Both of their French archers, they got knocked out and put into the bronze medal match by the two Turkish archers. So we have two French in the bronze medal match, two Turkish in the in the gold in the individuals tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so this is this is payback for them. And they've even got Snoopy on their side. That gives you a view of uh, these beautiful skies here on this Friday afternoon in the West Midlands of Great Britain. The glorious summer continues. Not often one can say that in Great Britain. It's better than yesterday. Well, there we go, confirmation of the upgrade from a 7 to an 8. And against all the odds, France are leading this one. And not because, I'm saying uh, the, against all the odds, not because they are arguably not as good as Turkey. It's because there was a massive distraction uh, in there when they were full draw in their fourth hour in that set. Uh, well, that got marked up from a 7 to an 8, and that gives France the lead to Kia up to the shooting line for the second set. Well, they need to find a way back into this one. And it's Mustafa Ozdemir on the line. No. Well, that's a lovely start for them. In the gold, that's what they want. Of course, this team were seeded first. France was seeded second, and Spain was seeded third. And Spain did go on to win the win the bronze. Yeah. This recurve under 18 men's team matches. Oh, another stray arrow. This time, no distractions to blame for it. I wonder if uh, Akuan's teammate, Ozdemir, will be looking at this later and thinking that he could potentially win the individual gold against his teammate. Nine. Another nine here from Bodan and uh, oh, eight. he's into the eight as well. I'm Four wondering nine. now whether it's actually wind and it's not. It's it's died off, that's for sure, but it is still blustering. And is it catching out the teams? Yeah, they seem to be having a chat there. Addis is uh, trying to coach them through this. Even though he's the youngest on the team, he seems to, obviously he's the most experienced. He nine. was in the goal match yesterday here. So he might be trying to help his teammates against the tricky wind here. Target set at uh, 60 meters. Well, there's the full 70 meters that we're used to 
at senior level, but this one may be one with nines, you know. If it's more points than the other team, that's all you need. Yeah, that looked like a much better shot from the team from Takia there. Four point buffer for France here. They can afford to drop four points and share the set points here. Of course, they'll be hoping to drop less than that. And there we go. A 10 is just what they needed. A 36. Still four points as a buffer with just two hours to go now. But you can just see that wind blustering. A quicker release there for an eight. That's OK as long as the anchor gets a nine. Baudouin on the line. Important arrow, this one. Oh, <laughs> that looks like it's just about clipped the line. It's marked as an eight, which means we've got another draw in terms of points, 52 apiece. But that looked to me like it clipped the line. I, uh, I think it did. I think I would call that in. And uh, yeah, the French team, they'll be, they'll be asking their, their teammate or coach to check that arrow and get the judge to, to mark it for them. You see the French team in, in uh, conversation there, the coach getting involved as well. Baudran just talking about, he actually saw his arm moving up and down when he was at full draw. And he was just saying to his teammates, well, there was just nothing I could do about that. They're marking that arrow just at the top left of that cluster. And that, that really important measure. And this is why we have judges. You know, they're impartial. They, they, they really very good at their craft. Well, judges uh, hand just out of shot there, but I think we would have seen it if it was marked down. It uh, looks like it may well be marked up that final arrow from France. We are still waiting for confirmation. Of course, it's the uh, first five set points for the win. So we'll have to shoot another set regardless. Well, the measure's been done. We just didn't quite catch whether that arrow was confirmed as a nine rather than an eight. French are smiling. I think that might uh, give us a clue there. That's two in a row by the looks of things where they've had an arrow marked up and it's turned from one point shared or one point each shared to two. And again, it's France with the wind behind them, excuse the pun. Uh, they get a nine and they get the points and they lead to Kia by four set points to nil and have a chance of doing this in three sets. Well, this is a big turn up for the books after a, a collapse of some kind of a hoarding in the first set. France were put off but still won the set points. In the second, they've relied on a yet another measure. This is tricky times for Turkia. Mustafa Ozdemir steps up to the line for set number three. Oh, and that's a brilliant start. They have to win this set to stay in the game. This is probably the most important six shots for them. like a long hold but he did it that's a 10 so that's going to put the pressure on France and that's that's what they really needed that yeah it started to heat up here this one oh this is superb from Turkey that is more like it yeah it's the quality that we would expect from such a strong archery nation now how the the French trio handle it that is the answer Addis with a 10. Nice. Just high. He 
hear the French saying allez, which means go. They're trying to spur their team on. Hey. So Baudin was, uh, he was seeded 21st. He was actually the lowest ranked of their archers. So I think that his teammates will be trying to really spur him on for these next three arrows. Mm. The French will need it to respond to Turkey's 4-10 so far. Well, Turkey may in some respects take the pressure off here. Another 18 points, and this will be out of reach for France, and they can sort of rehearse for the next set with their last three arrows, and they're on for a perfect as well. Shooting like compounds, dare I say. This is beautiful archery from the team from Takia here. No. Oh. They can still drop a point and uh, still get the set points. They are on the scoreboard in this gold medal match took here and uh, ominous 59 they've scored here Addis and Co and I'll just go yeah. through the process here uh, these are important arrows in terms of rehearsal and getting their process ready for the next set because still France maintain the advantage no. Yeah, as you said, they're just going through the motions here. We will have to shoot a fourth set because Takia will get two set points for this. France can't win this in these in this arrow. So it will be 4-2 to France. Ten. Okay, with the final arrow for France. But well, a solid enough. finish from uh, the Did French trio, 29, 29 out of the 30, <laughs> and uh, well, having to team up there to get the uh, heart on screen. But what a performance from Turkey, having dropped the first two sets. Uh, they can even, a little bit of posing for the camera, Zako, and they're looking on and giving us the thumbs up in terms of their performance in that third set. It's not just that they won it, but a 59, that's pretty special. That's incredible shooting so from this under 18 yeah, team. Let's not forget, they are all under 18. Medal. It's incredible shooting to get a 59 here. Medal. And it has been really yeah. tricky. We've seen people miss in the in the compound matches. So 59 is brilliant. The final set here in Liverpool. <laughs> We've seen Turkey uncharacteristically struggle in gold medal matches here today. They struggled at the beginning of this one, but what a fight back they've begun here. Compound under 18 men's team. European title at stake. Definitely something worth fighting for, and it ain't over until it's over. Ozdemir already stepping up to the line. Tech and Koyan waiting in the wings they trail by four set points to two so we'll shoot first in this fourth and final regulation set Must win set for Turkey. They are on a roll on this this last two sets. It was really needed. France seemed to dominate at the beginning. And Turkey have responded. Ten. Well, let's start the match. And I said this one could be one with nines. Well, Takir have dialed it up in a big way. 
Eight. And the French have not been able to respond yet. 29 for Turkey, and France start their first rotation of this four set with an eight. Oh, he no. moved his body there. He uh, didn't seem happy with that, did Fayeli. But um, if Takia do win these six arrows, that means it will be four set points each, which means we will go to a tie break. Nine. I think that could be possible based on the scores so far. Well, the way things are going, I don't fancy France's chances if it goes to a tiebreak. Takia are zoned in on the centre of the target at the moment. Nice. It's been a bit of a, a mad match because France, of course, in the first set, there was the distraction, and they still won those set points. They still won the first set. And then the second set they won. Again, that was line cutter. Yeah. It's almost like Turkey just wanted to string this one out a little bit, make it a bit of a match for the spectators. Uh, in control here. I don't want to spoil this for everyone, but a nine here, and it will be four set points each. Unside the last 10 seconds. Nine. And that's the nine they needed. So from 4-0 down, uh, I'm afraid to say, in terms of these last three arrows, uh, well, they are a bit of a practice again for uh, France. Uh, we are going to have a half-set shoot-off here. Nine. And so getting them near the centre of the target is really, really important. I think um, the French seem to shoot better when they're a bit more buzzed, when their team was behind them, when their team was shouting and they were smiling. They really yeah. did do better. So at the moment, they just look a little bit sad. And it's funny because in the set one and two, Takia, the archers looked a bit sad. And now they're kind of joking and, and talking to each other. And I, I think that's what the French need to do for the head-to-head uh, -head yeah. matches. Well. A 52 from France just is not good enough uh, against uh, most teams. But Takir, the way they're flying at the moment, shot a 59 and a 57 in the last two sets to come from 4-0 down to draw 4-4. And we will have a shoot-off. And Lucy, talk us through what's about to happen. So all of the archers will shoot an arrow each. Oh. Well, it's been explained for us. <laughs> and the uh, basically, whoever scores the highest will win the match. If that if those arrows are tied on score, then it will go closest to the center of one of those arrows. And if they cannot be decided, it will go to the second closest arrow. Target face is currently being uh, replaced. We don't want to see a target with all these holes in, uh, especially if we need it to go to, as Lisa described it, the measure and the closest arrows. And uh, we see how this got to this point. They don't know quite how they got the first four set points, but France did lead. And Takir have pulled it back with a 59 and a 57 to force this shoot off. Target face is already clear down at the end of this 60 meter range. French high fiving to get themselves ready for this. So we're looking for one arrow per archer. They will shoot alternately. Now the teams will shoot one arrow at a time. We're looking for score first, but keep an eye on the closest arrow on each side of the target because that could pay a part. The French have been outscored by Turkia in the last two sets. Turkia have got to be the favourites coming into this sudden death shoot off for the European title. What a way to win a title and what entertainment for us as well. Quick work from the staff, change those targets. They look massive, don't they, in that perspective with people standing next to them. Trust me, when you're 60 meters down the range, 
middle of that target looks very small indeed. Momentum with Takia, but this break oh, can play havoc. There's thinking time for both teams. French have remained relaxed. They've remained calm and controlled, smiling a little bit. And uh, often here, that's a good way to manage your downtime and then switch back on when you're on the shooting line. A little bit more serious on the other side of the shooting line. Nothing to separate these two teams after four sets. So we are into a super. Lots of great support from the crowd. If you're here for France, let's have a cheer for France. Well, the stadium announcer trying to get the crowd up and running and lively. The range is declared safe by Natalia Rodinova. Great job from her. And the other two uh, judges out there, Eleni Leonidou and Ashlan Unsal. They've taken over all the duties of refereeing for all the finals here at these European Championships. Fabulous job they've done. Now it's over to the archers. France to shoot first in this final shoot off. Nine. Over to the nine. So we'll alternate it between Takia and France. France and Takia. One archer v one archer. Nine. Nine's a piece. Reliant on your teammates here. He's trying to round up his uh, teammate, Tech, because he's going to be shooting next. Nine. Another nine at the moment. Takia with the advantage. They've got the closest arrow to the center of the target. Certainly by my sight. But France have shot two arrows. Nine. Still advantage to Kia. Now it could be a case of closest to the middle. Yeah. One arrow each. Baudin is the man to anchor France in this shoot off, trying to keep his cool. Nine. Now, this is all about a nine for. Turkey. I think they are closest to the centre. A 10, of course, would do it on score. But another 9, I think, will be enough. Pressure on. Oh. It's in the middle of the target for Turkey. They didn't worry about a 9 and a measure. They put it down the middle of the target. They came from 4-0 down. They were out of the European title match. But they've come back with absolute domination in sets three and four 59 and a 57 to draw level on set points and they have won the shoot off outscoring france by a single point to take the european title what a match it's incredible i mean to, to come from four nil down and gain those two last sets they did it in incredible style as well 59 points to get that third set ah, what well, amazing shooting yeah you said it after the sort of turmoil at the beginning something going down behind the shooting line distracting uh, Addis I think it was into a seven which then got marked up to an eight France getting the points another measure in the second gave them four points uh, four point lead at Kia what mental resilience to fight back and uh, to switch from a low 52 in that second set to go straight on to shoot a 59 and a 57. The momentum was with them and they carried it through the shoot off to the European title.